I think Americans have experienced comfort for so long that the, oh, yeah. I, the idea of discomfort is, like, that's a negative. Like, dis discomfort isn't negative. Most of the time, it's either a signal that something's wrong or it's a signal that you're getting better at something, right? Yeah, you, well, Americans, to make a horrible generalization, Americans haven't actually looked over the edge of the cliff yeah. for a long time. Yeah. I mean, arguably, in some ways, arguably since the founding, you could say. May or at least since the Civil War. To some, to some degree, maybe during the Cold War for individuals, That's maybe, true. but yeah, they definitely not as a country. aware of it, but you didn't, I mean, America hasn't suffered what, for instance, I don't know, Belgium suffered right. in just great cities just being wiped out. Yeah. And never rebuild. Or even or rebuilt, the Blitzkrieg. Like, like yeah. we, we have no concept of anything like that. It's 9-11, yes. that's pretty much... Yeah, some, uh, f an American friend of mine in London, came to London a few years ago and was living there. And, and, and we were talking something about the architecture of the place. I, I said, well, you, know, you have to realize that one of the reasons why like, all these bits of the city have great, ugly mm. replacement teeth in them mm -hmm. is because this, is, this was just night after night bombing and we never replaced those mm. buildings with anything other than kind of things that we just rushed up right. after the war when there was no money. Every European, every British person has reminders all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have towns like Coventry that were great mm -hmm. towns that were totally flattened in the yeah. bits. And so... And also 40, 45,000 people died, right? Yes. Like, oh, America has oh. not experienced anything like that Oh, before. and I mean, to, to nightly, and I, I obviously I grew up with these stories, mm. to, to nightly have to go to the basement of your right. house or, or, or hide under the kitchen table or mm. whatever, um, every single night. And, you know, and after a big raid, um, there, was, there was one, I remember somebody telling me, that the, the, the dust didn't settle back over London for three days, you know. And that was commonplace. And so America, to, America has not, Americans haven't been reminded of their mortality mm -hmm. in a way for a very long time. And, and it's very, very lucky. But one of the things I always try to bring across, particularly to American students, is that's not normal. Right, yeah. Like, that is not normal in the world today, and it isn't normal historically at all. It's incredibly unusual. You're mm. very, very lucky. Yeah. And one of the things you see then is, is like, and that's why, just going back to those things like the trans madness mm. and all this sort of stuff, is like, I constantly want to say, like, don't screw up something at this stage. Mm. Like, don't moan at, at, like, at the last point of rights acquisitions. Mm. Don't pretend you're living in hell. Right. Yeah. You know, just because you haven't got absolutely everything you want and everyone right. else hasn't yeah. got. You know, there's that kind of leftist thing of like, no one is is free until everyone is free or no one is, th there's that kind of riffing mm. on, like until everybody has all of their rights, I will not stop. And you go, right. well, you know, you, you recognize to begin with, you're not in a bad place. Mm. You know, it's, you, still, you still have won the lottery of life to be born in America in the yeah. 21st century. I, there's, there's also a psychological impact of being in a good situation and by force of social pressure or conditioning or whatever it is, being under, I guess, the spell of constantly trying to find something wrong. Like, we know people like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. People it's who want to be oppressed. Misers. They're, they're, they're not fun to be around. The people who frankly. want to be oppressed yeah. are very, very commonplace. Mm. Now, everyone's, I, I think that's one of the reasons why people go for the kind of non-binary crap is, is that like they, or like queer and things, mm. is like basically they've, they've not got enough oppression. They want some. Right. And, well, you have to make it like uh, something that isn't uh, uh, super structured so there's no way to, it's an unfalsifiable situation. Well, unfortunately, that that's the case with mental health to a great extent mm. as well. It, um, it, but some people are wickedly wielding it as a kind of way to win. Like you know. the, uh, the young tennis player. Oh, what's, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Naomi Osaka. Yeah, Na Naomi Osaka. Yeah. Um, who, was then, who was then made like Sportswoman of the Year mm. or something. Like the thing that we respect. That's weird. The thing that we respect about people who go through great hardship is the manner and grace in which they overcome the hardship, not yes, the fact absolutely. that they gave up. And that they overcame right? it. Yes. Honestly, it even gets uh, in minor ways, like Carl Anthony Towns last night. Yeah, yeah. Just, What's that? Just you the basketball player last night, he just kind of like took the night off, and then after the game, when I say took the night off, meaning he was very lazy on the court. 
uh, and after the game had everyone else to blame. And that's not really somebody that you can, it's not somebody you can deal with. Like a person that refuses to accept responsibility for their own actions, that's not somebody that I care to, to deal with. Well, like, Because how do you, you know what I mean? Uh, one of the absolutely central things, this is this, is this um, bugbear I have about the mm. American ethic turning from admiration of heroism to admiration of victimhood. I hate that. Uh, it didn't have to happen. But, but, um, uh, but, uh, but uh, this, like, is, this is an example of it. it like, it's very malicious, too. Like, there's no good reason to do that. There's no good reason to amplify people's uh, weakness. No. You know what I mean? Well, That's... no, because also because it's contagious. Yeah. Among much else, it's contagious. Heroism is contagious. Um, a very, as you know, mm. a very brave like, company commander demonstrating bravery yep. will have a very brave company. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> a company commander who's found, you know, crying and saying, I don't know if I have the resilience mm -hmm. to get through this, is going to have that replicated among the men who he's meant to be inspiring. And uh, that's why I have, I actually have, a, I mean, among many of my views and feelings which run against the age, mm. this is one of the strongest, is I just, I do not believe that we should have an infinite amount of time for people grousing about their ill luck. Right, yeah. Like, yeah. a certain amount of time mm. for people in certain very unlucky positions right. who could be helped and want to be helped, mm -hmm. but not endlessly. Like, I will not endlessly hear a Duke and Duchess telling me about their ill fortune. <laughs> I, I, I will not have <laughs> somebody born a prince oh, man. endlessly telling me about the fact that he's unhappy. I, I don't know. There's too much unhappiness in the world. There's quite enough unhappiness. Right. You've just added to it by a millimeter. Yeah. And you could have shut up. And do you, do you think from uh, their perspective or any patrician or celebrity rich person's perspective that, that they feel like they're trying to um, associate, not associate, that's not the right word, uh, trying to make it seem like they're just a regular person? And I don't mean that yes. in a negative no, way. No, 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 I way. agree. Of course, of course it's that. Well, privilege is one of the great s sins of our age. <laughs> and among other things, everybody who's white is meant to have it, which is not observably the case. Right. So showing that you're a little bit damaged as your defense attorney in the privileged court of law? Absolutely. I guess. Showing that you've suffered is if you if you are unfortunate enough to have been born white, unfortunate enough to have been born male, unfortunately enough to have been born straight and mm. heterosexual, then